Good morning. Sunday morning, going on 6.30 a.m. It is November 13th, 2022, coming to you from the East Coast of the United States. And this morning, I'm going to give a second try to this Nespresso Holiday Infiniment Gourmand Savour Noisette, which is basically hazelnut coffee. Uh, this is one of their holiday blends that the, um, oh, what is his name? Hermé is his last name. I, I can't remember. I, I was just reading about it. Okay, when I get nervous, I forget things. Do you have that happen to you? Well, anyway, so they um, got together with this pastry maker, you know, fancy pastry maker, and develop the three flavors for the holiday blends, the raspberry, the hazelnut, and the, I don't remember what the third flavor is, but I can show you what they all look like, because I do have all of them. Okay, so the raspberry, which I love, in both the, um, Pixie, the original line, and in the Vertuo. Uh, see, now I'm nervous that I couldn't remember what I was going to say before, and now it's making me forget what I'm going to say now. Oh, my goodness. And the hazelnut, which I'll do this morning, and then this one, which is a double espresso. Um, and, yes, I have reviewed it, and I can't even remember my own review now because I've gotten myself all nervous here. Okay. Which, as you know, usually I'm not nervous. I don't know. Um, it's early and I haven't had my coffee yet. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. So, um, here's my Vertuo machine. And this hazelnut coffee, this is a flavored coffee. Okay. So, um, it's made with Arabica coffee and then they put flavors in. I believe these are natural flavors. And, um, but I don't know, did I throw away the box? Yeah, of course. I don't have the box. So, <laughs> anyhow, but I know that it's a light roast. I do know that. And that it is got, it's got nutty, biscuity, vanilla kind of notes to it. But, you know, blah, blah, blah. Let me put it in the machine and go ahead and run it because, as we all know, the important part is the taste. Now, I did have this once before, but I wanted to try it again and just, I don't know, I felt like I don't have a memory of it that strikes me one way or another, like with the raspberry. Ooh. I would have that any time. That is so good. In fact, if I didn't have so many coffees to use up, I'd have the raspberry all the time. But let me see if I can smell the hazelnut. You know, I can smell the hazelnut. Oh, I remember when I reviewed this the first time. Yes, I could smell the hazelnut with the raspberry. I could smell it almost across the room. Ooh, that was really something. Okay, but I'm not reviewing the raspberry here. Oh, I'm just going on and on today, aren't I? Well, glad to be alive. Just, you know, planning to have a happy day. We'll see how it turns out, but whatever I can do to make it a happy day, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make happy choices, good choices, so here we go. Let me turn this around. Oh, yeah. So this actually makes a 7.77 ounce. That's almost 8 ounce cup. This cup that I'm putting it in is uh, either 10 or 12 ounces. So you can see that's got quite a bit of crema on it. Eject this. You should always eject your pod 
after you run it in your Virtuo machine. Okay, look at that. Ooh, look at that crema. Woo! Okay, so always we want to fold the crema, and we do not want to skim it off because most of your flavor is trapped in those bubbles. Those are the essential oils of the coffee that have been merged together with air to make these bubbles, okay? And it will, if you just let it sit for a couple minutes, it will dissipate and turn back into liquid, um, sometimes completely, sometimes leaving only a small layer of the crema. And that's C-R-E-M-A, okay? This is not cream. There's no milk product in here. This is just the product of the coffee being either uh, sent through high pressure or pressure through intense spinning, which is what this particular machine does. And it causes those bubbles to mix together with the air. Okay. I can smell the hazelnut. Yes, it's definitely a light roast. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a very tasty, actually. Um, now, I'm a fool for certain flavors, like the raspberry. Wow. And if you put a chocolatey kind of syrup, like I use skinny zero-calorie syrups, amazing um but this is nice you know some people don't like something like a raspberry flavored coffee they want coffee okay this is a nice cup of coffee i think if i didn't know it was hazelnut i i don't know if i would think that now that it's no longer brewing in other words when it was you know really hot and the steam was coming up out of the machine, I could detect the hazelnut. Now, not so much. You know what, though? I have some hazelnut syrup. Oh, golly. All right, the thing is to find it. Okay, I've got sweeteners. I've got spices to use in my coffee. I've got my Christmas syrup set up over here. Hazelnut, where are you? Um... Okay, I took all my syrups yesterday. Oh, hey, I got it. Second try. Took my syrups yesterday to a little um, holiday, happy, healthy, happy hour. And put them back in, and they're all in different order now. But hey, got it on the second try. There. You know, I guess I could have just tried sweetening it without extra flavor. Ah, uh, that's okay. A lot of people have hazelnut syrup. That and vanilla or French vanilla are very popular for people to have, um, you know, when they buy syrups. So, okay. Mm, <laughs> I can definitely detect the hazelnut. I liked it better before. Let me get some milk, okay? Oh my goodness. All right, now. I usually use 30 calories per cup almond milk, but the other day at the market, I got some oat milk that's only 45 calories per cup. So since I don't use very much in my coffee, you know, I figured, okay, I'd give it a whirl. This is a big enough cup that I ought to be able to put just a dash of milk in there. And let's see how that does. You can see that was not very much milk, was it? Let me give it a try. And you can see also that that crema is starting to get a lot less. Mm. 
Now that's much nicer. You know, I'm gonna put a little more milk in. Let me pop this back in the fridge because I'll forget. Okay. So, yes, I've got my Christmas tree up. Um, yeah, I've got lights up there, up there. That's just fun. That's not even Christmas. That's just fun lights. And I'm stirring this milk. You can still see by the color of it. It's not that much milk. This is pleasant, okay? Actually, I feel like the milk has brought out more of the hazelnut flavor. Um, this is, you know, what I would say is, am I gonna buy this again? No, I'll use it up um, eventually, but this is not one of my favorites. But that's not to say there's anything wrong with it. You know, I feel like people need to try these things themselves. Even though my preference is the nutty, oaky, woody, cocoa kind of coffees, I still try the ones that are cereal and fruity and whiny because you never know how it's going to strike your taste buds. Um, you know, I, and also, I usually like the higher intensity coffees, but I've tried some lower intensity ones that I've just loved because there's just something about the flavor and the aroma and the way it feels on your tongue. There's a lot of different things involved in tasting a coffee that for the untutored palate, which is mine, I don't know what I'm doing, it's just me. I've read all about it, but I don't understand, you know, I read what I'm supposed to be tasting, but I don't know. But I know what I like, right? So you know what you like. So give different things a try because Nespresso and various reviewers may try to express things in a way that you can relate to. But honestly, it comes down to actually tasting it yourself. So that's why I usually get every new coffee that comes out because I want to try it to see what I think. So there's my little re-review of, um, what was this? The hazelnut. Um, oh, I can't even, okay. And Fenimont Gourmand Savou Noisette. I guess it's Noisette hazelnut. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later.